Ben Horner for MBTV, who is Ethan Morris. Hello, mate. After, um, what can only be said, a good hard sparring session on a Sunday morning. Yeah, definitely. Same as always. Um, family are away this camp. Yeah, all makes it a little bit different. Yeah, some boxers like to sort of take themselves away from the family and be able to, you know, knuckle down. Instead, it's the opposite way around for you. The family yeah. sort of left you to it. <laughs> yeah. How are you finding that's affecting you? Uh, I don't like them being away. Um, it's not affecting my training. If anything, I can put more time into my training and, uh, you know, spend more time here and get here at whenever I'm needed to be here because I haven't got the kids or whatever. But, you know, uh, so as. It's not hindering my training, if you know what I mean, but it's all they are, it's on my mind that they're not here, so that's probably hindering me a little bit. But you know, you just get down to business, don't you? I'm a professional boxer, mate, so I'll turn up and do my work, you know, as simple as that. Um, but yeah, I miss him, I miss him like mad, mate. You know, uh, I can walk around my house naked and all that, that's all good. Um, but and I can watch the football in bloody peace. Uh, but now I miss him like mad. And they come back Saturday, next Saturday, and I, I can't wait, mate. Um, someone who's now missing out of the gym. Um, unfortunately, for a broken collarbone, um, Joe Hearn. Yeah. He's sort of quite a big fig, become quite a big figure. Yeah, definitely. Around yes. the gym, the yeah. stable, especially on fight night, you know, um, he's always up for it and he's ready for, to fight. Yeah, well, you know what you're going to get with Joe on fight night, don't you? you what do you think? Gonna... How do you think that'll affect things, you know, in the changing room on the night? and? Or do you sort of all keep yourself to yourselves and sort of ignore what they're doing? Well, it's not, it's not so much that you keep yourself to yourself, but you get yourself, you get yourself ready, you know, and uh, whether Joe's there or not, no disrespect to Joe, it ain't going to make a blind bit of difference to me. I'm there, I'm there to fight, you know, as simple as that. And uh, I'm here to put the work in and then get myself ready and then come the night, make it pay off, you know, and uh, like I say, whether Joe's there or not, it's not going to make a difference to my performance or how I box or how I feel about boxing. But it will make a difference in the fact that you know there's a big personality missing on the night and a big a big fighter on the night missing from the show you know that that'll be the difference and uh yeah i'm gutted for him mate i'm sure he's gutted we're all gutted for him um just wish him a speedy recovery he's, he's a fit strong lad you know in tip-top shape so i'm sure that he'll recover nice and fast and be good to have him back you know like you say he is a bit of a big figure in there you know it's always nice to see him walk through the door and that and you always know what you're going to get and the Supporters who turn up on the night and the fans and that they, they know what they're going to get from a Joe Hunt fight. They know he's full of power and they're going to give him an exciting fight. You know, so uh, hopefully he comes back nice and soon. You know, looking ahead um, next weekend. Yeah. Uh, Andy Joshua makes his first defence of his world title. Yeah. Many sort of see it as another easy fight for him. Yeah. Um, un unbeaten opponent. Um, what what do you sort of? look into and see and give us a bit of your boxing knowledge. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I've got any, I'm just doing some told mate, the only boxing knowledge I've got is what Graham and the rest of the boys sort of tell me. So, uh, But uh, my opinion is, I don't know, it's an unknown isn't it, uh, who knows anything about, I don't even know how to say his name probably, yeah. Brazil yeah. is it, yeah. you know. So um, who knows, it's unknown, it's a heavyweight competition, it's, you know, it's a heavyweight fight, um, so obviously he can hit. Um, but I don't know if he's good, I don't know if he's technically sound, I know nothing about him. So, that, um, But what you do know is Joshua, Joshua's looking better and better all the time. He's class, full of power, he's quick and he's on the rise, you know, and he's confident, isn't he? So, um, Brazil, will have to, yeah. he'll have to really turn up on the night to beat him and uh, hopefully he'll come and make a good fight, you know. I'll be paying for it again. <laughs> Scott is skinning me out again, so he better bloody turn up in good shape, so yeah. Um, someone else on the bill of fight that I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Um, George Groves, Martin Murray. Yeah. Best of Britain, really. Yeah, I'll think be a great Winner goes through to fight for a world title. Yeah. Um, how do you see that going? Because yeah. realistically, the loser. Yeah. Sort of. Where do they go? Almost finished. Well, they say finished. I don't, I don't know. You know, I never like to. I never like to call a fight a finish because you you never know what they can do. You know. Yeah. A fighter, you know, a fighter who's got everything to prove is a dangerous fighter. So, a fighter, whoever loses that, has then got a hell of a lot to lose, you know, and uh, a hell of a lot to prove. Sorry. So, I, I don't want to write any of them off if they lose. I, I'll never write anyone off. But I think it's a great fight. I think it's a good fight. Um, hard to call. I think it'll be a scrappy fight as well. You know, I don't, I don't think that's going to be a technically f great fight to watch. I, I, I just think it's going to be a scrappy, hard-fought fight and the toughest, fittest man will win. And I, I don't, I think, personally, I think Murray's gonna win it in a tough, 
hard fight. I just think late on, I think Mario will start to come on strong. But you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Groves won it. You know, yeah, it's one of them. It's, yeah, it is a 50-50, but my money's on Murray. Going back to yourself, this question I sort of ask everyone leading up to fight night. Yeah. What can people expect to see from Dave from Morris? Uh, well, I've been, as always, working my backside off in that gym. But you know, I've been working a little differently. A lot. I've been working harder. Not that I thought that was possible, but I've been working harder on different things and. Graham has really put a lot, loads of time in with me, you know, and we're really focusing on the little things and, you know, certain things, quick hands, and, and te technically getting so much better, you know, and uh, I feel like, and, and uh, what he's done is, he's took me as what I am as a fighter and made me realise who I am as a fighter, made me grow into that and just added to that and more, 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 you know, and I feel like, even a, I feel like a completely different fighter because, I've evolved from what I was, you know, it's just naturally got better and, uh, you know, we put loads of time in there. So don't get me wrong, same with Darren and John, you know, they all, they all put their time and effort into me and uh, Graham has really sort of, you know, made the bits that are rough around the edges and started to smooth them off, you know, and it's, it's, coming, off, it's coming off well and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting in there. I, I, I think you're going to see a lot slicker, a lot faster um, and a lot more confident. Yeah, you know, I was open in there. Yeah, you know, that's that's what I'm. I feel more confident, mate. So I, I hope that comes across and uh, put the performance in. A little bit of performance in. Well, tickets are available. Yeah, tickets are available. Get out. You know, um, last time out was in Essex. Um, took a good bunch down, um, but you know, obviously it being away, you know, numbers weren't as high as they usually are in Norwich. You know, it's understandable. But I'd I'd love to come back here to Norwich with everyone right back behind me making loads of noise, you know, we're back here in our city, you know, and uh, I want to make a real big statement. I don't think I'm far off, you know, pushing for better things, you know, and that can only happen if you get support behind you. I say it all the time, you don't see a champion on TV with no support. Yeah, so yeah. I, I need that support, I want that support, give them a great night. It's a great night full of good fights. And uh, yeah, come on, get at me. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, my phone number. Um, whatever, and I'll come drop them off to you. You know, that's 35 quid for the night of your life. As simple as that. Let's go make some noise, get a win, and have a good one. Ah! Thanks for your time, Steve. Cheers. And I'll nice see one. you on the night. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant. Cheers.